three of California's volcanoes are among the most at risk in the country for a catastrophic eruption. Now beats Maria Medina with what would happen if they did erupt. A San Jose State Geology professor says this list is not a prediction of what volcano will erupt next, but rather how active a volcano has been recently and how destructive the damage would be during an eruption. California is not just earthquake country, it's also volcano country. Of the 161 U.S. volcanoes, 18 of them are considered very high threat, according to a new U.S. geological survey. And of those, three are in California, Mount Shasta, Lassen, and Long Valley. All three of those volcanoes have produced some very uh, explosive uh, and devastating eruptions in the past. The USGS scored the volcanoes based on several factors, including how recently it's been active and how it could disrupt air traffic. And then there's exposure of people and property and infrastructure. San Jose State Professor Jonathan Miller says not only would ash and lava cause widespread destruction, so could the mud flows caused by lava melting ice and snow on the mountains. A small eruption onto that ice and snow heats it up and then melts it and mm -hmm. then all, you got all this water and it just comes rushing down. That makes down. sense. The last eruption happened more than a century ago when Lassen sent volcanic ash as far as 200 miles. But Professor Miller says our technology today is, of course, much better than it was. It's even improved since the last USGS list came out in 2005, giving people time enough warning to get out when the next eruption occurs. Should people be worried about this list who live near these volcanoes? I don't think they should be worried. No, I think what they should do is just uh, be aware. And some of the warning signs an eruption is about to happen are gas emissions and earthquakes. On the Night Beat, I'm Maria Medina.